Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Kaiser Redux mod as the Kingdom of Italy and Il Duce Italo Balvo. Sorry for not getting a video out yesterday, I was in Dublin. It is a shithole. I was also on a train, so I'm changing my surname to Loganovsky and modding myself into the Red Flood mod as uh, Drozdovsky's Minister of Agri- or Infrastructure. Nearly said Agriculture. No. Um, yes. Mediterranean Axis looking absolutely gorgeous. We are refitting the ever-living daylights out of the Regia Marina. It's just... It's it's beautiful. We nearly have four full lines, almost 60 dockyards. God, I wish I could request the dockyards of other members of the faction, but I suppose I'm already getting them, if they're if they're an, uh, an occupied populace, yeah. Like, people like... Uh, or countries like Abyssinia and uh, Somalia. Like, how, how, many, how many dockyards do you have? You've got two. You've got none. You've got three. We've got three. We've got two. I don't know how you have two at all that coastline. That's a sad. How many do you have? You have three. Georgia might have one. Yeah. Azerbaijan has none because you can't use the Caspian. Uh, Greece. Five. Bulgaria, seven. Serbia. Serbia. Okay. Romania. Romania, three. Hungary, zero. They don't have a coast. Austria doesn't have a coast. Don't want to click to you. Uh, yeah, Serbia. Do you have no? Nope, you have none. Uh, and I think that's about it. Yeah. God, I wish I could just request those dockyards. Like, I'd, like, I'd give them, you know, a civilian. Fa I'd give them civilian factories. You know, one civilian factory for one dockyard. You know, they ain't, they're not using them. The only other member of our faction who even has a navy is uh, is Bulgaria. You know, battle cruiser, two battleships. That's not bad. Fourteen destroyers, three escort cruisers, and six submarines. Hey, that's not bad. You probably need to get some more uh, screening ships out. Then again, uh, what's that? Well, that's three. Three fours is twelve. Yeah, you're actually fine. You're fine. You're fine. I, th I think it's uh, three three screening ships per uh, per capital ship is the new. Well, I say the new. It's probably man the guns onwards. It used to be four. Uh, I kind of prefer four. Uh, now, oh yes, our Fulgore, our paratroopers. God, I'm looking forward to dropping them. Oh, but I, I need I need transport aircraft. Balls. Get me some transport aircraft. Stat. What was that? What was that? Huh. Maybe it's just the transport aircraft getting dragged. Yes. But as soon as we finish building these two dockyards, we're immediately going to start into uh, military factories, which is good, uh, because obviously we are, we have delayed the invasion of France a bit due to the whole building up a, uh, a navy thing. So we are, yeah. 61 isn't bad, to be fair. But still, we want to get more. We currently field 1.63 million men. How are we doing on support equipment? Actually, yeah, that's a good question. 96 here. Alright, that's 102. Two. Okay, okay, okay. 128, alright. Which leaves room for another... 22. No. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 22. Fine. How are we, yeah, how are we doing on uh, support equipment? Fine, but trucks were lacking. Yeah, we need we need 15 on those. Uh, of this, of this, yeah, is this? No, it's not. Hmm. What are we currently working on? We're working on the capital. Yeah, the battleship superiority. One fifty percent research bonus for battleship models. The powerful battleships will make sure our naval superiority is permanent. Italy must once again rule the Mediterranean. God, we are going to. We really are. I wish the Spanish would hurry up. I want to invade you. I can't do it while you're at a civil war, or else, like, it, it won't count. Like, one will just annex the other as soon as I knock one of them out. The Serbs are getting out a lot of men. That's good. That's good. Oh, they're going for dockyard construction, too. Yeah, 169,000. Very nice. Okay, let me quickly look at this. Second Bull Creek. Yeah. Like, this is insane. Like, the Reichspact are heavily outnumbered. Or, the, the Third International are heavily outnumbered. Hmm. Hmm. Knights, new plan. We have to. We're gonna go with the right for the. Oh, but that means I have to. S Africa. Hmm. We somehow Greece got Crete. How the heck they did that? 
and, and the Suez as well. I mean, that shouldn't pose too much of an issue. How long are the... Oh, they're huge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, is that eleven? Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen divisions. Yeah. Right's back first. They're too big. They're too big. We gotta, we gotta crush them. They're too big, they're too strong. It's a miracle the commune is even holding. Oh, but that... That involves the fucking... Mm. Yeah, fuck. Our allies have got to do something with it. How many troops do you have? Please don't tell me that's all George. Those are all... What's this? Oh, yeah, fine. 76,000, not bad. Yeah, and this will allow our, our allies to actually contribute as well. Because if we just have our units over here, then... um. Then our allies won't really come because they'll just be clogging up the front. At least they didn't in uh, in my test run. But yeah, we're also not, we're also not going to go for Poland because it'll create it'll create a nice block. That they'll have to go around. It'll really extend their supply lines. Commandy. Also, kind of makes the Fulgori useless. But it's, uh, it also allows us to, to not use our navy in the upcoming conflict. Um, due to the fact that, like, we don't need... Well, we, I mean, we also wouldn't have to... Didn't even, didn't even know you could do that. You, yeah, how the hell did that happen? Yeah, but um, like, technically we don't need to use it at all for the commune. You know, because we can just, you know, we have a land board with them, we can just invade them. But, um... You know, it is kind of nice to use, especially because our navy is uh, stronger than theirs. So, uh, yeah, not, but I'm definitely not going up against the uh, the, the right pack navies. Hell no. How many, how many, uh, what the hell was that? Um, yeah, you probably have a big-ass navy. Oh, not that big. Oh, huh. interesting. Basic snorkels, alright. Basic snorkels, alright. Realign for the, uh... Yeah, it, it's it's 1941. We gotta get this advanced fire control system ballistic computer. And besides, I don't I don't have to call in all of my allies. The only ones I really have to call in are the Austrians and the Czechs. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, but it's also kind of. Yeah, the Russians are busy as fuck over here with all these men. Yeah, that's a massive front line. They aren't really in a position to help us. But I'm confident. I'm confident. I am. <coughs> Shell dice finished. Very nice. Now, let's have a look here. It is 1941. The, yeah, damn near the middle of 1941. Yes, Sunday line production. Yeah, and like I was saying, this is absolutely perfect. You know? This is absolutely perfect. We can just... Also, you know what? Instead of doing naval... Just just always train, if you get me. Because like, we really need to get more naval experience to do some naval doctrine. Like, we need it badly. So, bump all that up. Are they, are they finished? Are they finished? They're finished. Four full lines. Glorious. Automatic split-off enabled. Prepare priority high. Just keep training. This should rapidly gain us. Uh, daily gain almost coming up to one. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Diff normal player. Oh, do I get more experience? Oh, that's interesting. Didn't know that. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. Yeah. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme those, uh... And yeah, and now, now the transport planes are less important because of, uh... because we won't be dropping on, uh... Won't be dropping behind their own. Yes, that's what I want to say. Pronto! Yeah, 96 and 6, it's 102. And 104. 108. 128. So we can afford another 22 divisions. Alright. Make them Alpine divisions. Okay. Can't get any more. That's a shame. Maybe I can when these deploy, though. How about that? Yeah, let's do that. 
Haha! That was right. Fantastic. Formazione. Now you gentlemen. Wait, do, do we even really need to... Two down. How do you have so many divisions out already? As long as we don't call you... You're not an occupied puppet, are you? Yeah, you're just a... You're just a puppet. Uh, cannot decline. Cannot declare wars. I think we should be fine. Hmm. Don't think we even need to garrison down here. Do we? I don't think so. Si, sí, signore. Si, sí, signore. Seizing a lot of I don't think I want a massive Africa. Yeah, the Reichs Pact in Africa would kind of do me just fine. Commandy. I want to overstretch. Formazione. Ordini. We started motorized. No, good. Wait, we, we did the... we did... we changed this, didn't we? Did we did that, God, could you imagine if we did Ordini! Oh, everyone line up, get into position. Electric torpedoes, very nice. Uh, excavation techs... no, radar techs. Improved centimetric radar. Just check the recording neutral as well. Pronto all'azione! Oh yes, we're going to crash down on top of them. Attento. Now, 120, 128, fantastic. Okay. Uh, if that's eight, we can get another 20 stack, I believe. We are short of motorized. Fine. We'll make up that deficit in no time, I'm sure. Yeah, no time at all. Oh, yes, he can be training. Si, sí, signore. Right, things are kind of quiet at the moment, so I shall pause uh, the recording, and I shall uh, be back once, unless something, uh, you know, unless, yeah, reading focuses and uh, the big conflict with the Germans. See you soon. Alright, I do believe we are ready. Now, let's have a look. Almost fielding almost 2 million men with, yeah, I wish it gave me a more accurate than just 1 million. 120 divisions on the German border. The 352,000 man strong Esercito to Africa, en route to Africa. They're not actually there yet, but I won't be calling these these guys in, so hopefully it won't be a problem. As well as an additional 120,000 paratroopers ready to drop wherever we may need them. The Germans are pushing, they're pushing deep, but they're only one province away from being encircled. And the French have got very, very strong fortifications here. Our Air Force isn't really much of anything, isn't really anything to speak of. You know, 540 aircraft, I don't even think. Yeah, yeah, that's like, yeah, 200. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those 540 aircraft aren't even all ours. That is just sad. Oh, wait, what's this? Hmm. Two seconds, I think I'd better respond to this. Oh, there we are, sorry about that. But yes, we are, uh, also, our, just, our Navy is once again getting massively retrofitted with new radar, new fire control, uh, new guns, new engines. Um, 
the destroyers are taking no time at all, but I, I saw something like, I was reading something like 60 days for the cruisers. So, but it's just as well that we just don't need the navy. God, it's so good to not need a navy. Isn't it fantastic where the only thing you need is really the army? Now, I did do a couple of focuses. Uh, Mara Nostrum. The Mediterranean has ever since the times of the Roman Republic been our seat of control. We must dominate the Mediterranean to prove we are no longer a second-rate power in Europe. Add Mara Nostrum, which grants naval hit chance plus 10%, naval experience gain plus 10%, capital ship armor plus 15%, and escort efficiency plus 10%. I also... Was that it? No, there was one more. There was definitely one more. Or was that really it? I think, I think that actually might have just been it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do any of this. I didn't do anything here. Yeah. But I was working on... Uh, or was I? Did I? No. No, I didn't. Don't believe so. Yes. I'm working on support domestic car manufacturers add boosted car industry, which grants motorized production costs minus 10%. Our car manufacturers have been starving for cash since the Great Conflict. If we help them, we will be in a position to demand assistance with the military in return. Yes. Two and a half million men in our manpower pool. They're not reserves, because reserves kind of, kind, of, kind of implies that they're behind the line or something. They're not. It's just two and a half million men that have yet to be... 2.6, we'll call it. That we could call up to be trained and so on and so forth. Our army is fully trained and we're giving each and every single man the best training possible. You can see which ones have fought in the wars. Yes. Um, except these men. But I don't expect these men to fight this war. So that's why... Um, why they're not fully trained up and then and in addition I can't really delay it any longer the French are there's this big ass gap forming here if they can close it the Germans are fucked but if they can then the French are fucked so yeah look at that 4.98 to 10.9 million versus 1.39 to 3.62 million it's a, it's a miracle they've held out as long as they have yeah the, the Reichs pack fields between 285 and 200 and 978 divisions that's absolutely insane absolutely the Ukrainians feel between 336 and 153 divisions. That's, yeah, that's not at all. <laughs> that's not at all a bit of a, you know, a bit of a gap between the, the minimum and the maximum. But I do believe we are ready. You're not guaranteed by anyone. I mean, you, you shouldn't be guaranteed by anyone. You do the guaranteeing, if you, if you get me. Now, uh, I don't actually have troops on the Suez Canal. I imagine the Egyptians will be dealing with that. They've got plenty of men. Is that fortified? Only very slightly. They've got... Nothing else here. We won't be calling in these uh, puppets here, so that's fine. The Russians will likely be in no position to assist us, but hey, it is what it is. More land for us. Now. Uh, was there... Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you what, uh, what else I've been researching as well. Uh, I just finished researching the advanced engine, working on the advanced armor protection. Uh, I don't think there was anything here. Uh, researching excavation 4 and assembly line production. You guys know the, the latter one of those. In, uh, finished researching improved centimetric uh, centi centi radar and advanced fire control system. That's fine. Finished researching uh, the advanced light ship hull. Finished researching the snorkel torpedo. Uh, all of that good stuff. Working on advanced heavy hulls because uh, I had a bonus, a 50% bonus. Now, speaking of bonuses, I had two... Um, I'll show you here. I had two bonuses for researching uh, Fleet and Being Doctrine, but for some reason they just didn't apply. I'll go in here and show you. Like, we, we were just here, and I researched these two, but it just, uh, they didn't apply. It should have been 50 experience each, but instead it was 100 experience for the both of them. So what I just did is, is I just gave myself another 100 experience so I could get the second one. So in, in effect, it's the exact same thing. Um, you know, we effectively, you know, it, things didn't bug out and we got our 50% research bonus. But what we, what we got was convoy sailing. Introducing compulsory convoy sailing will make it easier to spot enemy raids and respond to time. Safety numbers is the way to go. Um, destroyer subdetection plus 5%. Destroyer organization plus 10. Escort efficiency plus 5%. And convoy escorts. Fast surface ships as part of our convoys will allow us to spot enemy submarines and respond in time. Detection is the key to eliminating the submarine nuisance. Destroyer subdetection plus 5%. And destroyer organization plus 10. Again, that's very nice. And uh, escort efficiency plus 10%. Very nice. And I have the whole navy on training. Not like just to train up to, you know, regular, but just training all the time. And of course I have automatic split off enabled and um, and repair priority high. Just that we, we really need experience. Uh, naval experience. Because obviously we're not fighting any battles. But yeah, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. It's going to be good. Austria, my good man. Checks. That should be everyone I need to call in. Yeah. It would look like it is. Alright, let's go. This is gonna be insane. 
likely we won't be able to uh, establish air supremacy. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, you know, I think I'll just hold it off. Yeah, don't don't bother just flying because it's ruining aircraft. Come on, go. Germania de Lenda Est. Right, we're not at war with the Anton Jeremy. We're not. Good. Ah, yes, easy pickings, as it were. Industry. And aviation industry, which grants fighter, carrier fighter, close air support, carrier, close air support, carrier, naval bomber, naval bomber, tactical bomber, heavy fighter, strategic bomber, and air base. Oh, yeah. All, all of the aircraft minus 5% production cost and air base construction speed plus 10%. Italian aircraft manufacturers have been stunted by the. What happened to the front line? Why does the front line look like that? Attento. I don't like the front line looking like that. What happened to it? Pronto all'azione. Am I missing something? Ordini. You're all here. Si, sí, signore. Yeah. Okay. Attento. That's weird. Some I don't mind calling in like the Hungarians. More you know the Bosnians. Not the Serbs. More the Bulgarians. More the Greeks. More the Albanians. Oh there we are, the front line's fine again. Good. Surprised to see red bubbles. It appears our troops are taking their time advancing. That's fine. Yeah, those aren't even our units either. That's fine. Pronto. How about it? Paratroopers take Berlin. Come on, so. Oh yeah, we need, we need, we need it. Oh no, we have it. That's interesting. Oh yeah, baby. It's not gonna get you killed. Oh, paratrooper state Berlin. Let's fucking go. <laughs> nice. Commandy. Yeah. Them be your orders. Yeah. Power, power drop them in. Paratroopers take Berlin. Oh. No, no, it was not. What was it? Hey, signore. Break through and relieve. Unit parachuted with losses. Okay. But, uh, Pronto. Pronto all'azione. Continuate l'attacco. That's to be expected. Hey, signore. I didn't see us getting any news of it. By the way, keep pushing. Yeah, I assume everything's fine here. Yeah, they haven't pushed at all. Good. Attento! I'm glad they got a use. Oh, oh, it's 
Attenzione! Advanced heavy hauls, very nice. Three. That's fully automatic. Oh my god, that's hideous. I thought I thought it was like a self-loading rifle. Well, it is a self-loading rifle, but you know what I mean. Like semi-automatic shells. Casualties. Doctor. Ooh, advanced fire bases. Armored car recovery rate plus 0 0.05. Armored car organization plus 2. All infantry and motorized slash mechanized. Recovery rate plus 0 0.05. Organization plus 10. That's huge. Tanks organization plus 2. Tanks armor variants. Recovery rate plus 0 0.05. Enables tactic tactical withdrawal. Yes, casualties. Oh. Need more resources, do we? 26k so far. What kind of casualties have we been inflicted? A thousand at least on the Germans. Ninety six hundred on the Finns. Fourteen hundred on the Ukrainians. I'm gonna start asking you for states. Give me states. Maybe Paris, you know? Yeah, look at all that. No wonder the offensive is slowing down. Well, so we're over the division limit, aren't we? Yes, we are. That's slightly affecting us. Let's go up to. War economy. Who else has joined us here? The Austrians have the Czechs. Yeah. New plan, new plan. Let's hog for a while, shall we? Let's regroup. Ordini. So you. Where are you? Pronto, signore. Here. Division's Army 6. Hey, you should, yes, now you have none of that. That's good. 
Avanzate! Well, use them all you can. To 213. I wish I could see it up here as well. That's, that'd be nice. How many guns do we feel in the Italian army, by the way? 17,800. We're not running out of artillery, are we? No, we're not, but we, we would want to hurry things up. Base here at all. Here, here, here. Upgrade those. Or convert, rather. So they lost a bunch of factories, what's up? Didn't land in our territory, did it? No. Okay. Damn, it's a lot of Germany. Out of interest. How far how quickly have we captured no. How quickly have we captured all of this? Just two months we've captured all of this. Good lord. Change in the popularity of social liberalism to social democracy. Oh, what was that? Ah, oh, I see. I see. Uh, market liberalism, radical socialism, syndicalism, and totalism minus 10%. Democracy is a sham and its institutions are incapable of withstanding socialist infiltration. All civil servants must be comprehensively evaluated, and if any association with a socialist organization of any kind can be found, they must be immediately removed from their post. So, Skirp has popped up? No. Oh, yeah. 
Moved on to the cruisers, we have, wow. How are you not? You're only 82% of the way there. Interesting, is what I have to say. Ordini! Avanzate! Yeah, there we are. Piecing out with all of them. of Belgium has a claim on Luxembourg. Curious. Okay. Whatever you want. Come in, France. Nanzig, I'm sure. I can guarantee you that. And that's probably about it. Right, you've had your lot. The rest is mine. Check Scott claims on anyone? Silesia or anything like that kind of stuff? Do I really care? No, I don't. Hmm. Oh, but I uh, must also deal with all these really tiny islands that I really do not want. Or have they already been seized? Huh. I think they actually have been seized. I believe this is all, yeah, this is all European territory. Good. In that case, gobble, gobble. Abyssinian Empire. Good for you, Abyssinia. I'm proud. We still had a fuck ton of dockyards. Yeah, we did use them all up. Use them all. Give me more chromium for the short time that we have access to all of that. Or I'm gonna milk the shit out of it. Poles. Time to die. Ooh, another one of these. Escort carriers. Nah, I don't think I really want that. Yeah. Battle fleet concentration. Call in nearby ships as soon as an enemy vessel is spotted. Coordinated focus fire. Quickly render enemy ships useless. Hunt them down one by one. Battleship. Uh, battle cruiser and cruiser organization plus 10 strike force org loss minus 20%. Who are we still in a conflict with? What's this? Ah. Ground support integration. Let's just start reading those. Oh, no, I don't want to because it's been so long. Uh, 
New, 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 new. Oh wow, well, that's a lot. But that's all in Africa, no? Well, obviously, obviously Ukraine isn't Africa, but I'm looking at all these countries. Sweden, the Netherlands, Finland. We have a direct border. Pronto, signore. Uh. Ordini. Oh, oops. Comandi. Si, Quickly rush to secure the Dutch. Signore. Advanced armor protection, very nice. Yes, I'm going to wait to release Germany until the very last moment. So that I can get you back and use their dockyards. Bulgarian submarines. Pronto. Wait. Did the war start? What the feck? You're not. You entered. You declared, didn't you? You did. Signore. Pronto, signore. Oh, the British did make sizable gains. But so did I. So I'm taking it. Oh, wait, no. Does that include, like, like weird stuff out in the middle of nowhere? No. Good. Avanzate! 
Formazione! Attento! Pronto, signore! Pet Leora was there for a second. Ukrainians are going up on them, eh? Nice. That wouldn't ever give me a portal with the Ukrainians. Bad choice. Commandy. How are we doing down here? Are we redeploying properly? Oh, ten divisions there. That's bad. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Call all. 484 divisions of the Mediterranean Axis fields. Knights, new plan. Pronto all'azione. Formazione. How many men? Gotta give you a battle plan to execute one. Sweet. Good lord, man, you do not have enough to be doing. Commandy! The whole Romania has crossed the river. But it's likely to suffer heavy losses. Balboa is about to have three nickels. Or 
three liras rather. Pronto all'azione. Comandi. doing an artillery. Fine, fine. Of course we captured a lot of it. Looking pretty thick. Looking damn thick. Andiamo! Ah, you took care of the Suez, good. Let's give the Romanians some support here. Oh, create the Unitary Republic. Unitary Kingdom? Yeah. Physical power plus 100, add the Unitary Republic, which grants daily physical power gain plus 0 0.05, stability minus 5%, unlock decision attack the Austrians again. The Republic granted too much autonomy to its member states, a relic of the vestiges of Austrian influence and the Federation. The time has come to abolish their rights and place all power within the central government's hands, even though this might very well mean a fight with those whose autonomy we strip away. Formazione. Comandi. Sì, signore. And 
the American Civil Conflict. land oh yeah we also have to knock out the UBD that's awkward pronto signore Their new German Union. Very nice. You kind of look like Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele was a European man. Interesting. Oh, Volkism. Pronto all'azione. Formazione.
Ooh, someone new to exploit. Very nice. Massive con uh, concentration of firepower will impose the, this overwhelming level of shock and awe against an adversary uh, on an immediate or sufficiently timely basis to paralyze its will to carry on. All frontline battalions, soft attack plus 5%, all infantry and motorized slash mechanized, soft attack and hard attack plus 5%, artillery support in line, soft attack and hard attack plus 5%, enables tactic break. Battlefields.
Formazione. Oh yeah, the power troopers. Sì, signore. Yeah, Avanzate! Sì. This will be just go farm up. Loads of strat bombers. This Romanian tanks, very nice. Austrian tanks. I will make this Britain's uh, concession kind of thing. Take a Lithuania doesn't have anything. Yeah. Britain. Dutch, my bad. My bad. Now the Unitary Republic. The laws have been passed swiftly in the capital, rescinding the rights and autonomies enjoyed by Lombardy and Venetia, or indeed any state that is part of the Republic. The ANI party lines out this is for the good of the country, an explanation which also applies to the suspension of future elections. Italy cannot afford to weaken itself to greed and outside loyalties. Not now and perhaps not ever. This news has not gone over well in Venetia. However, where the state legislators have expressed fury as what they see as a power grab by the, by the central government, already people are taking to the streets and we may expect more formal acts to be taken in the days to come. Let's hope this amounts to nothing. Nothing's going to happen. Oh, nice. Submarine operations. We do not need to engage the enemy fleet head on to win the conflict. Strike at their trade convoys before they can react and disappear below the surface again. You cannot fight what you cannot see. Submarine surface detection plus 5%. Submarine organization plus 10. Torpedo reveal chance minus 5%.
Not the okay. Ukrainian, so I can divide up Galicia in a suitable fashion. Colored and franchise and actors. There was the <laughs> Fate of Poland. We must liberate them. Fate of Ukraine. Give the rest to the Russians. Interesting. Divide Ukraine by the Dnieper. That's interesting. Let's let's save here and see what the various outcomes are. Liberate core Ukraine. Give the rest to the Russians. Just for that? No. That didn't get us any extra opinion. They got Sumi. Interesting. Let's go back and do that again. The game crashed. Here's a good place to end it. <laughs> because the game takes forever to boot up. Alright lads, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting down below. In the next episode, I've got a bit of an idea in my head about how to get Russia out of the Entente and uh, onto our side. I shall see you then. But it, it, it will not be tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See you next episode.